now one of the world's largest insurance company is calling for an urgent debate, a radical rethink where the private sector plays a greater role in welfare provision and funding. Well, that insurer is Aviva, and its CEO, Andrew Moss, joins me now. Andrew, thank you so much for being on the studio here in, well, braving the weather, first of all, and uh, we don't have a view, but it is quite nice in the afternoon. Andrew, it does seem, first of all, I want to get your general outlook. We've been speaking to many CEOs and decision makers here. Optimism, but actually cautious optimism, because we don't really know what's around the corner and if we even turn the corner. Well, I think that's right. I mean, last year here at Davos, the mood was very, very somber. Uh, but that, that did actually, I think, lead to some uh, quite significant changes that actually got followed through in the year. I think as we come through this year, uh, and I only arrived here last night, but I already sense that there is a little bit more optimism here. Um, caution, yeah, I think we still have to be cautious. Uh, I think financial markets are still uh, probably going to be pretty volatile. Uh, and as far as our customers are concerned, and we have 50 million of them around the world, there's no doubt that they are still cautious. And it does seem, I mean, you have issues which are very particular to your sector. What concerns you the most? And are, are you actually here to, to try and change and get this global debate? Kicked off. Yeah, I think there's two things. I think in the short term, uh, the uh, following through on the changes to regulation in insurance, particularly Solvency 2, uh, is important. I think we're on a good track there, uh, and I don't think we need to be knocked off it. So, uh, you know, what I'm going to be doing uh, in, in debates in the next couple of days is making sure that we do stay on track. I think in the longer term, it's exactly what you were talking about earlier, Francine, which is, you know, one of the changes that we need to see, particularly in Western economies, is greater provision for long term saving. Uh, because the fact is, the government simply can't afford to fund pension provision in the way that perhaps they've been thinking they can. Uh, UK consumer price inflation sharply rose last week. What impact has that had on your bond portfolio? Uh, well, it, uh, you know, we have very large bond portfolios. When, when interest rates move, clearly they, 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 that gets affected. Uh, I take a long-term view on that. I mean, you know, those prices move around from time to time. We manage risk, you know, through the cycle. Uh, it doesn't have a major effect. Andrew, are you here also to do business in terms of acquisitions? Because y yesterday was very clear from all the uh, business people I was speaking to that they are here to make business valuation seem cheap. Are you on the acquisition trail? Well, we're still very concentrated at Aviva on actually realising the value of what we've already got in our businesses, and we've made great progress on that in the last couple of years, taking a lot of cost out of the business. I think that's going to start coming through in 2010. Uh, you may say that valuations seem cheap. I, I, my, personally, I'm still you know, going back to your note of caution. Uh, you know, I personally, I think that, that that's still a moot point. Now, that being said, there are a lot of people here, and uh, no doubt there will be some interesting discussions. Uh, what about insurance sales for 2010 in the UK and Europe? Optimistic or again? and cautiously optimistic? Actually, I'm a bit more optimistic. I mean, I, I think there's a good case that maybe the third quarter of last year will we'll see the bottom uh, in terms of that cycle. In terms of where you see the bond markets and the equity markets, I mean, we've seen this massive rally over the last, you know, 10 months. Yep. And we spoke to Mr. Doom saying, actually, there has to be a correction, but does there really? Well, I'm not sure there has to be a correction. I think we have to remember that, you know, there were some very big moves, obviously, over the course of the last couple of years. Uh, we'd all like to see, I think, just a pretty stable performance uh, through this year, and uh, I think that's feasible. Andrew Moss, thank you so much for joining us today.